Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a liner look and this is a look that I posted on my reels last week and it was definitely more of a straight eyeliner look, so less winged. This very straight shape is very fashionable at the moment and also I quite like it because if you have any issues with your eyelids, whether you've got double folds or very, very different eyelids, or hooded eyes. Actually, sometimes that really winged liner, because you're kind of crossing the worst bits of your eyelid in a way, the most complicated bits, sometimes it's harder to do. Whereas with a very straight liner that comes just from the outside, you're kind of going underneath the shape of your lid. So even with hooded eyes, I think it's sort of easier in a way. So I've been doing it quite a lot and you can adapt it and have it very thin. And um, I mean, it's just, it's a trend I know, but it's a trend that I kind of like because it means that I can get eyeliner on myself a lot quicker than I can if I'm doing like a perfect cat eye. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So this straight shape of eyeliner that's really kind of everywhere at the moment, it's just going from the outer edge of your line, of your eye, sorry, straight out. So if you think of a cat eye as being up here somewhere, so usually we say we're gonna follow the underneath our eye all the way around and swoop up. So usually your wing ends up sort of up here somewhere and you've got that real sweep up. And then if you were to go follow the corner of your eye down, it would end up a little bit too low. So you're kind trying to sort of cut through that inner outer corner and go straight out from there. So it really is sort of this shape. So the eyeliner is heading towards here rather than up here with a cat eye. And I think this is, an eyeliner shape that I guess the origins, if we were to get into the history of it, would start in ancient Egypt where all of our, most eyeliners went straight out and it's all about elongating the eye. I was reminded of this actually recently because I was talking to, um, I think it was the New York Times or someone about the cat eye and how everyone loves the cat eye and how this new liner shape is inspired by a cat eye. And I was like, no, no, it's much straighter than that. For me, it feels like much more like that ancient Egyptian eye. Um, it really is about kind of just elongating and pulling that eye out without lifting it, without elevating it. Um, as I say, it doesn't suit everyone, but I kind of think it's it's one that does work on everyone in terms of application because you're able to kind of skim over any um, problems that you might have getting that perfect shape. Now, a way you can do this is using tape. Um, I know this is really, really popular. Loads of people love doing it. You can buy a very, very inexpensive tape from the pharmacy. Really, this is just sort of surgical tape. So it's not too sticky and you can stick it on. This is great if you're doing a cat eye as well, or you can stick it on from the outer edge if you're doing a straight eye, and you would use that as your guideline. Personally, I don't like doing this on myself. Um, I just find that I always stick the second eye in the wrong place and they never look the same. I like to rely on my own eyesight. So I'll do one, map it out, and then I'll match looking straight ahead in the mirror. But that's me. So I don't know, you might find that tape is the solution for you. And if it is, that's fantastic. So because we do want quite a graphic line, I'm using a liquid liner. So this makes it, I guess, more complicated. So look straight ahead into the mirror and think about a line going right out from very outer edge, so your top kind of waterline meets your lower waterline and that's where you're going to start. And then you're not going to go up from there, you're not going to go down from there. You are going straight out. I'm just going to look at the shape there. straight out like that. I'm probably going to make this a bit shorter, but I'm just mapping out my kind of a line there like that. 
And then for the second eye, I'm going to look straight ahead. This is where I much prefer not to use tapes personally. Just keep looking ahead. Start again in that. Sorry if you can't see this, I need to face the mirror. Now this is where, this is my difficult eye. So actually this shape is going to be so much easier because normally, well, I've got my first fold goes lower on this eye than it does on this eye. And then I've got my kind of second fold there. And I should be able to cheat underneath all but the first fold here, which is going to make things a lot easier for me. I just have to keep looking back at the other eye. And I'm just going to map out that shape roughly. So I'm going to just start to thicken up. I'm going to pull back to thicken up. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge yet, but I'm going to start to just join that onto my eyelid. And the main thing is we don't want to go anywhere above it. And then I'm going to keep it really thin from about the center and just join up there again. So I'm going to get that real elongated eye. So I'm just looking at the shape there, just checking how that looks. Got a tiny bump in there as well. Oh, got a little hair, extra hair on that. I'm going to do all of my perfecting just on the top here. And I'm just now just relaxing my eye really so I can just do my correction. So just keeping my eyelid down. edge of that. So we've got the straight shape and don't be frightened just to lift up the outer edge. It's still not a winged liner, you're still not making it winged, but you're just giving it a more flattering shape. So you still have that, that straightness and then it might just ever so slightly go up at the outer corner, which I think really is makes it more flattering. So onto the second eye, I'm going to be looking straight ahead, keeping my eyes open. This is particularly important if you've got hooded eyes. Do not close your eyes when you're doing your eyeliner, especially the wing anyway, because you're not going to be able to get that angle. So I'm going to just go back from the top there. Oops, just messed up that up already. That's all right, don't worry. If you mess it up, it's fine. You can come back to it in a second. This is where I'm going into my fold now. So this one is going to be ever so slightly thicker, but not where you can see it. Just going to have to get a touch thicker in my and I think you kind of, I think we're also tuned into lifting up eyeliner at the outer edge that you automatically go up. So it almost takes like willpower to stay straight. You could do underneath there. Oh, that tickles. <gasps> oh. Just bring it into the inner corner on the top. Oh. I like to take my time with this, to be honest. Sometimes it takes, if you haven't got like the most even eyelids, it does take a little bit of time. You might want to just lengthen a touch or 
add a little bit here and there. And then eventually we kind of look at them and they look, listen, we're not going for perfection, but if we keep looking back, you can end up with a reasonably similar shape. So next I'm going to go back in with concealer. I'd already done my base and sort of basic concealing, but I'm going to go back in now and just conceal underneath this shape. Now that you've got the good shape you want of the eyeliner, you kind of want to give it some negative space under there. So you get a good brush. And what you're just doing really is concealing the line that naturally, the fold that naturally goes downwards. By taking that out, you've got even more emphasis on the straightness of the shape. And just patting that into place. And there I've got like a, a little tear mark. And if you feel like that lower line isn't crisp enough, just take a small Q-tip with a little bit of remover on and just wipe it across. So next I'm going to do some eyeshadow. I'm going to use some matte colours. This is a Vizart palette and I'm going to... I want it to be more like a shadow really. And I like to do a bit of a... Again, I'm keeping my eyes completely open. I'm not going to close my eyes at all. I just want to give a little bit of shadow above the straight line. Just to kind of tie it together. I guess not really to look like eyeshadow, just more to look like we've got a corresponding shadow above the line, if you can see that. So looking straight ahead and just working underneath that socket line. Really, really soft. I'm mixing together actually the grey and the brown because the brown's too warm and the grey is too cool. So I want it to be more closer to my natural shadows in my skin tone, which would mean mixing together both of those. It's going to finish off with a light shade just under my brow bone up there. This is still matte. Okay, so next I'm going to do a little bit of shine. I'm going to use this glittery shine. I'm going to use this just on the centre of my upper eyelid, just before I put on my mascara. I think this will be nice because it'll bring a touch of light here and it will almost emphasise how straight the eyeliner is at the outer edge. It'll kind of detract from it. detract from the sort of round shape rather of my eye. So I'm just doing a little bit of light there. I might also do that on the inner corner of my eyes. Just a little flash. Now as well, when you've got this kind of straight eyeliner, you'll probably notice that your eyebrows might need lengthening a bit more. Usually when I do a wing liner, the liner ends up kind of up here somewhere and I don't have to lengthen my eyebrows so much but I feel like now this liner shape is making my eye, particularly this eyebrow, look really, really short. So I'm going to go back in, I'm just going to get a brow pencil. So I'm just going to lengthen it. I'm going to try and not close it off too much. So keep it lifted almost at the edge there but a little bit longer. Good. Yeah, so kind of a little bit more catching up with the liner. <laughs> so I'm going to use a little bit of lash primer, mainly at these, the latter half I'd say of my lashes. So this will give them extra length there. Hopefully 
I mean, I don't have to put any little fake lashes on. Do you know what? I had a lash lift recently, so I haven't curled my eyelashes for a while. I had a different one this time, not an LVL that I've had before, which is a much more subtle lift. Um, the reason I had it is because I was told that it grows out much easier, so it doesn't, you don't have that kind of straight and curly grow out. And it was about three, four weeks ago, so I'd say that's definitely true because I don't notice that it's growing out at all. So I'm going to put a link below to the lash lift that I had in case you are interested. Next, I'm going to use mascara. I've got the lash doll mascara. Really going to get into those roots of the outer edge there. I'm going to do a light layer all across. Underneath I'm going to do not too much, just a little bit. I think I'm not going to do any contouring or bronze or anything like that because I kind of want to keep the eyeliner looking fresh and not too vampy and I feel like this eyeliner if there was contour, bronzer, everything going on, you know, really bright highlighter, it would become a different thing. So I'm going to do more of a, a fresh kind of pink blush. Just using a powder blush by Chanel and just doing kind of apples of the cheeks and then blending it a little bit. Yeah, I think I prefer that. Actually, I need a bit of powder. It's very hot in here. <laughs> and then for my lips, I'd already used Kitten Mischief and pencil. I'm just gonna go over, and give myself a bit more of a pouty lip, I think. and then touch a lipstick. So that's the finished look. That is my straight eyeliner. Please let me know in the comments if you try it, but I hope that was helpful and I'll see you soon.